Hey everyone, I just wanted to run a quick screencast to show you a few things about the timeline assignment. By and large, everyone is on the right track um, and doing the right thing. There are a few technical things that I want to show you though, um, especially about adding images and adding links to your outside source. I don't like to be nitpicky, but you get points for just adding an image and just adding a link. So you need to do it correctly. That's the only part of the assignment that you has to be technically correct for you to earn full points. So let me show you um, how to do that. If you look at our timeline as it exists right now, um, you'll notice that there are some uh, posts that don't yet have images. That could mean that they're still being worked on. Uh, but there's this, this one here. I'm not sure whose it is um, because there's no name on it. Um, but I wanted to show it to you, the first inhabitants, Paleo-Indians. Um, and so it looks like the entry is done well. Um, let me also click the admin box, box, bleh, box um, here. This is obviously where, maybe not obviously, but this is where you add your entries, right? Um, and so remember that if you're just uh, adding a new ID step, you go to this plus create new story. You can see all of the other ones already here. To edit this Paleo Indians post, I'm just going to bring this the editor up. We have the post up. And you'll notice that the image is not showing. It's not displaying. Um, and so we're going to see what the issue might be. Um, I'm going to go to Media, and I'm going to hit Edit. And then I'm going to copy the URL that was posted in there and open it in a new tab. So it looks like what happened here, um, this is a great image for Paleo Indians hunting Mastodon, um, is that uh, the person copied this URL. That won't actually work. What you have to do is click on the image itself. You do a right click or a control click if you're on a Mac like I am, and you choose copy image address. The wording might be slightly different if you're on a PC, but it's the same idea. You have to copy the URL or the address for the image. So I'm going to click that button. I'm going to go back over to the timeline, and I'm going to paste what I just copied into that box and click Save. You'll notice that now the uh, correct image is there. Um, I'm going to have all of you redo this on your own, so that, uh, and I'm going to give you the opportunity to make the updates and earn full points. I always do that with the Unit 2 timeline assignments. Um, so I'm going to revert this one to uh, what it was. So let me go here and copy that back. And there we go. And click Save. So I reverted that. Um, and then I want to scroll down. When you embed your image, or um, excuse me, not the image, but the uh, outside source, and that's done in the basic info section with the URL right here in this link box, this button will appear. So I'm going to click the button, see what happens. It says the site can't be reached. So I'm going to look and see why that might be the case. So once again, I'm just going to copy what was there over to here. And so it looks like there are actually two, uh, two different URLs here. So if we get rid of one of them and hit Enter, that will work. It goes to this New Mexico Museum of Art. The only problem here um, is that this doesn't take us to the page at the Mu New Mexico Museum of Art that deals with Paleo Indians. So I'm going to put in, I'm just uh, trying to see what this may have been the, uh, this may have been the site. So this is a New Mexico Art Museum site. Um, that has a uh, PDF file of a map on Paleo Indian sites. So that might not be the best for an outside source. It would work well for an image. Um, here's another one on the Culture Rush. Um, yeah, so this one talks about art of Paleo Indians, which you know may work for this post. So I would just copy that, and then I would paste it in the place of this one, and then this button would work. I'm going to click Revert though. Uh, for the reason I just mentioned. Uh, something else I want to point out, and I'm going to leave this post for a second and show you a different one. Um, Rogers, for example, 
um, on Moctezuma. Let's go down here. Whoops, to edit. So I've opened the edit box for the Moctezuma post. You'll notice that he put his name in the intro box. And he put all of his information in this extra info section. So you click extra info, you paste your whole entry here, and then click save. That way, you will have your formatting more or less retained from the way that you typed it out in your Word document. There will be breaks between paragraphs um, and so on. Um, so it looks like he's embedded a video well, um, and the link to the outside source is there well, uh, or so it seems. So um, I wanted to show you that because many of you, it looks like, um, so if you see anything like this in the um, kind of small or the, the general view from here, that means that instead of, uh, let me get into this one right here. So instead of using this intro box just for your name, you've posted your entry there. So again, please remember to go over here to extra info and post it in this box rather than here. Um, and it looks like the link is done well there. Um, media, just click Add New Media and put the URL of the image the way that I just showed you, or a video. Um, if you do that, you just change that to video. Same thing, URL of the video. Um, I'm going to hit Cancel, though. I hope that makes sense and is helpful. And these are just technical things. Something else to watch out for is to make sure that you've addressed historical significance in your post. Um, this one, for example, does a good job of giving a um, concise entry on the abandonment of Canyon de Chez. Um, it does say important things about that abandonment, um, including climate change may have been the deciding factor for relocation um, due to years of drought. It seems that the Puebloans left Canyon de Chez. Um, that all tells us about the abandonment. It tells us important things about the abandonment, but it doesn't say why it's significant. And so hopefully this will help us see the difference between those two things, because it's easy to list a list of important things, but unless you have explained why they are important, you haven't yet uh, completed the part about historical significance. So this just needs to go a step further and say why it is important that climate change may have been the factor, or why it is important that Canyon de Chez was abandoned. Um, what does that say about early Pueblo in history? What happened next? Um, that's often a way to talk about historical significance as well. So um, those are just some things that I noticed in general. Again, everyone's doing pretty well with this. Um, one other thing, there were a few of you that emailed me your Word documents for the timeline assignment. Um, let me go to our Blackboard page real quick. Um, it may have seemed to say that you should email those to me. That's not actually the case. Um, instead, you can either use the links that are in all of the learning modules, or you can just go to the Timeline tab, and then you scroll down past the uh, video tutorials and use the appropriate folders. So for Unit 2, for example, click on the Unit 2 folder, and then the ID step, and submit your, or I should say, um, attach your Word document here. Please remember you need to post both here to Blackboard. You need to submit your Word document, and you need to post here on TikiTaki. Both of them are required for full credit on the assignment. Um, all right, I think those are the major things. And, and again, I wanted to make this video to show some of those technical issues um, because I think that it would benefit a lot of us. Um, everyone's doing a good job, though, in terms of choosing relevant topics um, writing original entries on your topics. Um, the connection step is what will be due on Sunday. So what you do for that is you look at the timeline and you find an entry that connects in some way to the entry that you made. Um, an example that I see right here, Alvar Nunez Cabeza de Vaca and Panfilo uh, Navarez Navarez was the uh, leader of the expedition that shipwrecked in Florida that Cabeza de Vaca was part of. Um, so there's a direct connection between those two. Um, sometimes we want to do comparisons rather than connections. So that is a connection. That's a way to go. Um, a comparison, though, between Cabeza de Vaca and Coronado 
Um, so we have the entry on Coronado over here. That's not what the assignment is getting at. Um, you could make a pretty good comparison. Um, I'm not saying that that's not a thing or that it's not sometimes relevant. But for this assignment, what I want you to do is find a connection. And if you can't find a connection um, that's posted on the timeline, it's fine to choose a topic that isn't posted on the timeline, but that you know connects well uh, to yours. So I'd rather you make a good connection rather than a tenuous one, just because it's been posted to the timeline or not. I hope that makes sense. So uh, anyway, hopefully this is a clarification rather than muddying the waters. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm always happy to help. And also, if none of this made sense to you, please go back and uh, view the first video tutorial um, that is here in the Timeline tab. There we are. The Timeline tab in Blackboard. So that's this one here, Tiki Taki Tutorial for Timeline Assignments. Um, and do remember, I made this one for my intercession class, so don't use the login credentials that pop up in the Timeline Tutorial video. Use the ones that are available in the assignment instructions. All right. Uh, thanks again. I hope you're having a good day.